Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you five books that made me an e-commerce millionaire. I know it sounds sketchy, I know it sounds like a big promise, but these really the books that have changed my thinking about business, have changed my thinking about e-commerce, have changed my thinking about marketing, have changed my mindset in general. So uh, allowed me kind of like to think bigger and allowed me to push for higher numbers in e-commerce and have this like eight figure award recently from ClickFunnels, just from one of our funnels, $20 million with a single funnel, with a single product, which is something guys that is a good lesson, right? Because I know people that have only done like $1 million as a funnel, but we continue to push, we continue to evolve. And that is a mindset that you need to have if you want to push like really high numbers. So guys, with that being said, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. Book number one, guys, here is uh, 80-20 Principle. It's an amazing book uh, for the reason in life, you always have like disproportionate results like for different things. So for example, let's say in, in exercising, right? A lot of people talk about like pills and like you can do pills and you can do like different like supplements. But in reality, like the 80-20 of everything, which is kind of like the simplest, but also part that people have the most issues with is just drinking a lot of water, exercising like three times a week, eating clean, right? Like not eating like sugars and stuff like that. So pretty much this is like 80-20. So if you think about business, what is 80-20 in business? What is 80-20 with e-commerce? It's funnel, it's a product, and it's creative. You know, it's your advertising strategy if you're advertising on Facebook. This is it, this is three, right? So if your creative sucks, you won't make it work. If your funnel sucks, you know, you won't make sufficient profit from each transaction uh, to allow you to scale. And then if your product is not good in the first place, then you will not make it work. So three things, really. So a lot of people focus on these like little hacks and tactics in like Facebook ads targeting, stuff like this. This book is how to find like 80-20 in every single situation, whether it's in business, in life, and how to absolutely dominate. So once I found this book, it allowed me to get things like this, like this award from ClickFunnels for generating $20 million with just one product and about 30% profit margin. So this is something, guys, that you gotta pay attention to. And get yourself this book, 80-20 Principle, amazing book. Hey guys, uh, people have been asking me how we scale to multiple six figures or even seven figures per month without getting shut down on Facebook. And we have a very sophisticated solution for this that I want to share with you, but it's, it's just like too valuable to give away for free. So if you guys want this solution, just book a call with one of my team members and we'll show you exactly what it is and how it works and we'll see if that's a good fit uh, for you and for your business. So just book a call with my team member, we'll share it with you so you can scale your business to multiple six figures or even seven figures per month without getting shut down on Facebook, without having inconsistency and with high profitability. So just book a call with my team and I'll see you there. Number two, is Donny Deutsch, often wrong, never in doubt. Now, you take two people, right? Give them equal resources, give them like the training, give them some capital. One person will go on and, and build like six figure business, $100,000 uh, a year business. Another person will take the same capital, same knowledge, same like same resources and will build $100 million a year business, right? So what differentiates those people? Oftentimes, the only difference between those people is that that other person that built $100 million business thinks like, fuck, they're like, other people that have done this, why not me? Whereas like the person who didn't do that, they just think maybe I'm not cut for this or maybe those people are special that are doing those like tremendous numbers. Those people are probably special. This book is how to get this shit out of your mind because you can do a lot of damage, right? You can do a lot of damage as long as you can convince yourself that you are enough, you know, just why not me? Like, why not you? If you have that mindset, you will absolutely destroy it. Another book here, also tactical and strategic, how to get rich. Guys, if you know the magazine, like Maxim, you probably guys know, like I know you know, Maxim Magazine, right? Like amazing magazine for men with a lot of like uh, very like educational materials. And uh, anyway, so this guy has, has created that magazine and a lot more. He had a net worth of like 600, 700 million dollars when he died, he already passed away because he was you know, using a lot of drugs. He had like self-destructing behavior. But anyways, this book is very good. It's called How to Get Rich. Very sketchy name from the guy who actually got fucking rich. It's not from fucking people who just like talk about like getting rich. It's from person who actually got rich. You know, so it's not from those type of people in, in like suits. 
on you know making conferences or like events or seminars we're talking about getting rich it's from the guy who actually got fucking rich so this book is amazing it also covers a lot of the mindset things like for example you know the fear of failure why most people don't even start the business or why most people just don't push the business let's say you, you're running like seven figure business you're trying to push it to eight figures and then you you're fearing the failure that might come as a result of that so you don't even push that's why like only 4% of businesses ever surpass $1 million a year revenue. So guys, if you have like seven figure business, you're already fucking outlier. So just continue to push, continue to evolve and just push your business to the next level because you're already an outlier. And again, amazing book, How to Get Rich from Felix Dennis. Another book that has slightly different twists, right? So 80-20 sales and marketing. Now, this book is full of examples. Uh, it's by Perry Marshall and Richard Koch amazing guy i've learned so much from him like he's one of my mentors you know and so i've learned so much from him his net worth 500 million dollars amazing guy and this book is about finding the ideal message for example let's say you have like 10,000 customers let's say 1,000 of those customers might be like twice as valuable each one of those as the other ones the right thing to do if you have business like this is not how to how do you find more customers but how do we find more customers like these most valuable people that we have? So what kind of like combines those people? What is similar between them that we can focus on and we can find them and we can just scale our business a lot more efficiently because we're focusing on the most profitable customers, right? We are focusing on the people that can move the needle the most in our business. And guys, this is the classic. Uh, this book's probably 150 bucks, but Guys, I mean, if you if you cannot spend 150 bucks, I mean, you probably will spend more than that in a club last weekend. This book is amazing. Breakthrough Advertising, Eugene Schwartz, classic, right? It talks about marketing on a very, very like groundbreaking fundamental level on a level which, for example, how to identify the level of awareness of your market. You want to connect mastermind and network with six, seven, eight figure entrepreneurs. Join our free community on Facebook, which is called brand hyper growth. It's for only entrepreneurs who are already doing at least $30,000 or more in sales per month and want to go to seven, eight figures. So you can connect, you can network, you can mastermind, you can sh exchange insights and value with these guys and take your business to the next level. So there should be a link in the description. Make sure you join today. Let's say if you're selling this, right? There are different levels of awareness. So the first level of awareness, people don't know that they need the headphones, right? And also people don't know that they can solve, you know, certain problems with headphones, right? And then as people kind of like market gets more saturated, there are more and more brands coming in and selling similar products and people get aware of, okay, so there's like headphones and there's Sony and there's Boss, like there's like different brands, right? So now you start to differentiate on the feature level. Okay, these are the only headphones with some special sound uh, compression. So it's like you don't hear anything and like, some special features, you try to differentiate in those little things. But if you are not, if your market is not that aware of the product and you're trying to differentiate features, you confuse customers, right? At the same time, sometimes you might sell the product that customers don't even know, right? Like for example, if you were to sell this type of headphones like 300 years ago, people wouldn't know, like there was no like awareness of the product and also like i mean even the technology was not there yet so you start thinking okay so what is the level of awareness of my market so then you can customize your ads you can customize your landing pages you can customize your funnels to that level of awareness so you can absolutely destroy it so guys this is it these are the five books that made me a millionaire these books guys you get them and they'll change your life so let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you have another favorite book of yours that you want to share with everyone. And guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, guys, because I'm putting work into this video. So, you know, I want to share and want to help you. So please help me hit the like button. So then the uh, algorithm, YouTube algorithm pushes it in front of more people. We can help more people. We can get more conversation. We can argue with each other. We can like get into fights with each other and we can have a good fun. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.